Here I'm sharing six types of easy Japanese kimchi. No time consuming pep and no need to suck for a long time. By the way, there is my husband's feedback at the end of the video, so please check it too. First one is cucumber kimchi. Cut cucumber into desired pieces. Sprinkle salt and coat the cucumber with it. Let's sit for 5 minutes and wash them. This way you can get rid of the grassy smell of cucumbers. Pat it dry with paper towel. Great ginger and garlic as well. For my kimchi recipe, I use this Korean chili powder. I think it's called gochugao and often used for making kimchi. You can probably get this at Korean grocery or Asian grocery stores. It has mild to moderate spicy taste with a hint of sweetness. If you use other type of red pepper, they may become too spicy, so please reduce the amount or add more honey or sugar than I use. Add Korean chili powder, honey, soy sauce and salt stir to combine It tastes best if you let the flavors soak in for 2 hours in the fridge before eating. I left it overnight and then tried it. The seasoning is very simple, but it's really delicious and you will want to eat it again and again. Next one is Chinese cabbage kimchi. This kimchi will be made without cutting into small pieces. Rub salt all over the Chinese cabbage. Let's sit for about 5 minutes to drain the water out of it. Next, let's make kimchi paste. Grate apple. Adding apple adds a nice sweetness and is very tasty. Grate ginger. And garlic. Add dash granules. I use hondashi. And salted rice malt. This is optional. 
It's a seasoning made by mixing koji, salt, and water, then fermenting and aging the mixture. The sweetness of the koji and the spiciness of the salt are in perfect harmony, and the umami component is extremely strong. If not available, please skip it. It's totally fine. Next, I add salted squid guts. It also has a very strong umami component and is overwhelmingly delicious when added to kimchi. This is a fermented food in which squid meat and entrails are pickled in salt without heating, fermented by the enzymes and microorganisms of the material itself, and preserved with a high concentration of salt. Japanese people eat this as a snack with alcohol or with rice. My husband loved this too. If not available, you can substitute fish sauce. The production process seems to be very similar to that of fish sauce. Put just one teaspoon of them and add Korean chili powder, sugar, stir to combine, Next, let's check Chinese cabbage. I got a good amount of water out of this. So let's rinse off. Pat it dry with paper towel. Turn the leaves of the Chinese cabbage one by one and apply the kimchi paste all over. Toss the extra leaves with the rest of the paste. It's ready to store. I didn't have a large container, so I will use this bag. You can leave it overnight or refrigerate it for a couple of hours before eating. I let it sit overnight before I tried it. The result is a really delicious kimchi with a strong umami flavor that is not too spicy. Next one is celery kimchi. It's so refreshing and can be made so easy and eaten right away. First, cut celery into sticks. Wash well and put it dry with paper towel. Great ginger and garlic. Put salt. sugar, Korean chili powder, dash granules, fish sauce, 
start to combine. can be stored in a container in the fridge and should be consumed with a week or so. It has a nice aroma of ginger and fish sauce mixed together. I didn't know this combination could smell so good. As I said earlier, this is also very tasty right after you make it. If you are not a big fan of spicy food, you can cut the chili in half and enjoy it. Next one is daikon kimchi. Daikon, Japanese radish kimchi, is quite popular in Japan along with Chinese cabbage. First, peel daikon. And dice it. Actually, you can cut it into any shape you like. Sprinkle salt. And rub salt all over the daikon. Let's sit for about 5 to 10 minutes to drain the water out of the daikon. Water comes out of them, so I drain it. Soak in water for 10 minutes. While waiting for it, let's make kimchi paste. Grate ginger. Garlic. An apple. After 10 minutes, drain the daikon in a colander. Add Korean chili powder, sugar, dash granules. Rice vinegar, soy sauce, then most importantly, add salted kombu. This is made by boiling cup and sprinkle salt on it. Some have a little dash powder or sugar added. Adding this will uncommonly enhance the mummy flavor of kimchi. If not available, please add 1 tablespoon dash granules or put dried kombu and salt. Pat dry daikon with paper towel before mixing with kimchi paste. Mix well. I think it tastes better if you let this sit for a few hours or overnight. This is my favorite and I find myself wanting to eat it several times a week. We'll see how my husband responds later. Next one is tomato kimchi. 
It's like a little spicy tomato salad. A refreshing dish that even those who don't like kimchi can enjoy. First, remove the tomato stem with knife like this. Please boil water in a small pot while preparing these vegetables. Next, shred carrot. And chop Chinese chive. When the water comes to boil, add the tomatoes. And let them warm for 30 to 40 seconds. When the skin begins to flake a little, transfer to ice water. Peel the tomatoes. Sprinkle salt on carrot and Chinese chive. Stir and I'll leave it until soft and supple. This time I'm gonna use red chili pepper, not Korean chili powder. It's slightly coarse chili powder. So my husband chopped this up with a knife and made it so fine. I'm gonna make kimchi paste with this one. Put miso paste. Soy sauce. Sugar. Red chili pepper. Please add 1 to 2 teaspoon to your liking. Add fish sauce. Sesame oil. Grated ginger. And garlic. Stir to combine. I taste it and added half teaspoon chili pepper to make it a little spicier. Carrot and Chinese chive are soft and supple now, so wash them. Pat them dry with paper towel and mix them with the paste. Finally, prepare tomatoes. Color slit with a knife to about two thirds depth. Fill the cut out with the mixture. Just put as much as you can fit in. And put the remaining paste in a storage container and you're good to go.
Taste of the sauce soaks into the tomatoes from the inside out and makes very tasty kimchi. The last one is turnip kimchi. First, separate the white part from the leaves. Leaves are also used, so chop them. Peel the skin. And cut turnip into desired pieces. Sprinkle salt and rub salt all over the turnip. Let's sit for about 5 to 10 minutes to drain the water out of them. Next, cook the leaves in microwave at 500 watt for one and a half minutes. Let cool in a colander. Next, let's make kimchi paste, grate apple, garlic, and ginger. Water comes out of the turnip, so I drain it. Soak in water for 5 to 10 minutes. Add Korean chili powder. This time I'm gonna use Bonito Flakes. Let's see how it differs from Dutch powder. Add sugar. Salted rice malt. This is optional. Rice vinegar and salt. Start to combine. After 5 to 10 minutes, drain the turnip in a colander. Once the leaves are cooled, Squeeze water out from them. Pat the turnip with paper towel. Mix them with the kimchi paste. It will last about a week in the fridge, but turnip becomes a little bitter over time, so they taste best right after they are made. So now I'll have my husband try and I'll see what he thinks. Hey, kimchi no mori awase desu. Sugoi na. 作ったの作ったんだよ。硬いじゃないの作ったんだよ。すごいでしょ。すごいね。え、これ4つキュウリと白菜と大根。うん、と株。うん、これが株。いただきます。とりかけこうかな。白菜。うん、白菜はね、
うまいうまいうんにんにくとあのコクを感じるねあそうよかった塩辛かな美味しい美味しい本場のキムチも美味しいけど日本のやつはねあの発酵してないんで、うん、そこがまたあの食べやすくて爽やかでいいよねうんライトな感じで浅漬けだからねまあしそよきゅうりいこうかうんきゅうりはねえっと、うん、シンプルに蜂蜜と唐辛子かなああちょっと甘いかないやちょうどいいあっさりしてていいよ、うん、これ何画期的大根うん大根は塩昆布を結構入れたからあおいしい昆布のうまみが結構だしを感じるだし感じるうんこれすごい日本風だねよりう,うまいこれはそれはねえっとかつお節が結構ワンパック入ってるからあそう、うん、あうんかつお節すごい感じる和風かつお節を感じるうんうん葉っぱどう、うん、カブの葉っぱうまいレンジでチンしたんだけどあ本当いいねうん、うん、なんかアクとかアグあのえぐみみたいなのも感じないしねおいしいねよかったうんかつお節おいしくないうまいうまいあるねもう買ったんじゃないよねえってかめちゃめちゃうまいよこれあそうすんごいおいしいうんこれだからこれすごいねかつお節とこの感じのやつすごいおいしいなんか爽やかにご飯に合うようまいこれさもう野菜なのにこれだけでご飯いけちゃうよねうん、うん、うまいてかガブガブ全部食べちゃうかもしれないこれおいしい昆布えてかすごい昆布のおいしいこれ一番好きかもしれない、うん、あ本当。よかったこれほ本当においしいじゃん本当。買ったんじゃないよねうん、ちょうどいいよ。ちょうどいいしっかり辛い。しっかりだけど、あの、あの、発酵しないでしょ。うん、だからそれが僕は、あの、本場のやつも好きだけど、これぐらいのがいいし、うん、辛さもちょうどいい。よかった。うん、マッチしてる。マイルド。はい、どうぞ。おお、すごいね。丸ごとうん。トマトのキムチです。うわ、すごい。丸ごとだ。ああ。すごいね。人参とニラそう、人参とニラうんうまいフレッシュだねうまいすごい食べやすいトマトのキムチ珍しいねうん美味しい味噌の味噌をベースにしてるんだけどへえ美味しいあ味噌かだからだコクがあるもんねうん、うん、美味しい辛いいや全然ちょうどいい程よく辛いマイルドに辛い、うんうん、美味しいちょうどあのいい感じに味噌のコクとさっぱり感があっていいと思いますそうトマトのさなんかあの青臭さもさあんま好きじゃないんだけどこれだとそう味噌なのか唐辛子なのかその辺もさっぱり取れてて美味しいうん完食